Hey everyone, it's Anthony from Pretty Pretty here. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to use Chartist, which is a way to add graphs to your application. So here are some examples of the graphs that you can have. And you'll see in a moment that it's fairly simple to get up and running with some simple ones. Of course, if you want more complicated graphs, the code can get more complicated. But I'll show you the simple examples that they have. So there won't be any original code in this video. In the next video, there will be when I show you how to integrate Chartist with Flask. So the first thing that you have to do is actually install it or set it up. Uh, you can use Bower but I won't be using Bower. Instead, I'll be using the CDN. I like to keep things simple. And if it requires something like Bower to manage my JavaScript files, then I will add that later. But for the most part, I can get away with just using the CDN. So I just copy and pasted this CDN code here, and I'll put it in my HTML file that I have here. And uh, one thing that I had to change was I had to add HTTPS colon for both lines. Otherwise, it won't load for me. So I have that there, and if I refresh, nothing happens because I just loaded files. So the next thing I want to do is I want to uh, just add the demo chart that they have here. So there's a div that I have to add. So I'll do that here in the body. And basically what it's saying is that the class is going to be a CT chart, which is common for all the charts. And then the perfect fourth, which is an aspect ratio that they go into explaining up here. And then I'll add some JavaScript code for the actual chart itself. So I'll add a script section down here and I'll paste the code in here. We can see there's some data and some labels, so Monday through Friday. And then we have some numbers. These numbers are going to represent the points on the chart. We see that we're creating a line graph using the class CT chart and then data that we just created. So I'll save this and refresh the page that I have here. And now I see this line chart for Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. It's kind of hard to see here. And like I said, you can change the aspect ratio for the chart. So it doesn't have to take up the entire page like this. This is just an example. And if I change the values of the data, so let's say 15, 1, 40, 6, and 10, and save this and refresh, I get a different graph. So pretty simple stuff. And they have quite a few examples of different kinds of charts that you can create. So here's one with fixed dimensions. So it will look a lot smaller on the page. And then they tell you how to configure the chart and do other things, which I won't show you because they're pretty easy for you to play along with yourself. And here are some other examples of what you can do. Uh, pretty easy stuff. So the last thing I'll show you in this video is how to update the data in the chart. So here we have this um, chartist.line, which creates the chart. If I create a variable here and I'll say my chart, then I'll have access to this my chart object, which will allow me to update the chart. So let me refresh the page and then I'll open up the console and let me find my chart. So my chart is there. And if I call this function or this method on my chart called update, it will allow me to change the data. So the current data is in the form of labels in a series. So let me just copy this data object and I'll place it in here. And using this, I'll update the chart. So instead of 15, 1, 40, 6, and 10, how about I update it back to the original values? So let me find where this chart was created here. So I'll copy that and I'll paste it here. Okay, so as soon as I run this update, it should change the, the chart to be what I wanted before. And I accidentally zoomed in on the chart. Okay, so if I update it, this should change in the background. And it does. So that update's going to be really important in the next video when I use Flask to update this chart. But I just want to introduce 
Chartist to you. So if you have any need for charts in your application, I think Chartist will be a great library for you to use. Uh, I'll put a link to it in the description below. And uh, that's about it. So look out for the next video where I kind of combine Chartist and Flask to do some interesting things, hopefully, in your application or my application. So that's it for this video. If you like it, please give me a thumbs up. And if you have any questions about Chartist or charts in general, just leave a comment down below and I'll get to it. So thank you for watching this video and I will talk to you next time.